Hey, you know that moment when somebody asks you if you can do a commission for them, and they're like, hey, can you paint my Stormcast Eternals? And you're like, oh, for sure, gold and silver. I can do that, no problem. And then they say something that sounds like gibberish to you, uh, like, can you paint them like Celestial Vindicators? And you don't know what that means, so you're like, I, I, I guess I can. And then uh, you've, you've ruined your life. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blastercated Painting. Obviously I'm joking, I didn't ruin my life, but when someone asked me if I could paint their Stormcast as Celestial Vindicators, I, I said yes. And I didn't have any idea what a Celestial Vindicator was. Uh, I know what they look like, but I still don't know what they are. So today we're painting these Stormcasts from the Black Talon box, I think that's what it's called. And we're doing it in the Celestial Vindicator scheme because this is what the uh, client wanted. So here we go. First thing we'll do is give them a spray of black and then a zenithal of white from above. And the first color we're going to use is Raging Sea. This is going to go all over most of the armor. So anywhere we want that blue, um, we're putting this on there. And it's okay if we go over... Uh, certain areas a little bit because the metallic speed paints will cover over any mistakes that we made so we want to leave some spots uh, white uh, as best as we can so that we can go in and do the golds and silvers and everything else that we have to do for these uh, storm casts so this is as simple as going through each one and adding that raging sea where we want that armor to be that color Next thing, we're gonna take some glittering loot and we are going to tape this to my wife's uh, neck massage gun that I bought her for last Christmas because this is the best paint shaker in the world. Honestly, some of the speed paints separate, especially the metallics, and you will sit there and shake them forever. This thing will do it in a second. Uh, I know everybody's buying like Vortex mixers and all that stuff, but you can buy one of these and you don't have to tape it to it, you can just, Hit the bottom of it and hold it and it will shake your paint perfectly this thing is awesome and you can see here it's going to come out smoothly gold isn't that nice oh and we will go through and we will start adding any of the gold details here so shoulder pads knee pads any of the trim that we want um this crown thing behind her head or what i don't know what that's supposed to be it's clearly decoration because it serves no purpose but regardless we're putting the gold all over these miniatures so, same thing we did with the blue, we're just going to go through and pick out all of those gold colors. This is going to go all over uh, the weapons as well, at least the axes. So now here's a question, if, they're, uh, if they die and then their souls lightning back to Azir and then they get reforged, right? Uh, is their personalized armor get reforged too? How do they personalize their armor? They just got guys up there making magic armor? I don't know. I guess, I guess they just got guys making magic armor. If anybody knows uh, the lore to this, how do they personalize their armor and then get that back? Please let me know in the comments below because I am vexed. So next we're going to take some occultist cloak and this is going to go on the inside of any of their capes. Um, also the ranger character has... Uh, she's wearing a cloak i think it's a she she's wearing a cloak so any place where we need that so i looked at uh as much of the reference material as i could and just where i could fit in these colors for that color scheme and we're going to take some slaughter red here now this is going to go on these uh tassels that she has here um, anybody knows what that thing's called please let me know because I can't remember um, and also on the handles of their weapons also I found some sneaky little details down here and we'll just put some gold on there uh, before I forget next we're going to take some burnished red here and this is going to go on any of the belts that they have so they have a uh, 
a couple belts then they have some straps around like their wrist guards and uh, ankle guards so it's just going to go all over there next we're going to take some ruddy fur and this is going on all over the pelts that they have so um any of the fur lining or anything like that this is going all over there Like, the fur is not something that is going to come back, like, for their armor. Like, it's a fur pelt. Do they just have racks of pelts up in Azir? And they're just like, oh, yeah, this pelt's good. That's not coming back. I don't know. Now we're going to take some Tyrian navy, and this is just going to go on uh, her hair here. So any place we want some darker sort of hair, we're going to use this Tyrian navy. Next, we're going to take some enchanted steel, and basically anywhere we want some silver, this is where it's going. This enchanted steel is a nice sort of like bluish silver, but it's uh, it's good. And we're going to take some peachy flesh, and this is going to go all over her face here. So anywhere where we need a Caucasian skin tone, we're going to use the peachy flesh on her, and then also this older gentleman as well. Who is like, how many older bearded gentlemen do the Stormcast have? Because it's a bunch now. And they all kind of look like uh, Ian McKellen a little bit. Just putting it out there. And we're going to take some warrior skin and this is going to go on the uh, ranger's uh, face here. I don't know any other name, so she's the ranger as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to take some dwarf skin and some express medium. And I'm going to use this on the big guys. Uh, skin and this is going to end up being a much sort of paler sort of skin tone and I think it l ends up actually looking better than any of the other skin tones on these guys but this turns out really well and we're just going to take some battleship gray here and this is just going to go on not Ian McKellen's hair and beard And we're going to take some bony matter here. And this is just going to go on the claws of the pelts that they're wearing. And while we have that bony matter out, we're also going to take some brownish decay and some pallid bone. We're going to use this on the horns that the guy has. So we're going to start with the pallid bone. And then we're going to wet blend in the bony matter. And then we're going to end with the brownish decay. And that's going to give us our gradient for the horns that he has on him. Next, we're going to take some Doom Fire Magenta, and this is going on all of the gems that they have literally strewn about all the miniatures. Their weapons, their armor, there's a lot of gems. These guys got, they're, they're very, they're very garish. We need a lot of gems. So there's obviously a mine in his ear just, just cranking these gems out as well. So uh, a lot of gemstones. Next, we're going to take some frost heart here, and this is going to go all over the uh, lower section of the bird's wings. Because it wouldn't be a stormcast without a weirdo bird somewhere. God, I hate this bird. Next, we're going to take some space wolves gray, and this will go on the upper section of the bird's wings. Then we'll take some Zealot Yellow here, and this is going to go all over the bird's uh, feet, and also its beak. Then we're going to take some Ghost Gray, and we're going to dry brush all over the Frost Heart and the Space Wolves Gray that we just did. So this is just going to lighten up all the colors that we did and sort of smooth out any of the patchiness that you sometimes get with contrast paints. Then we're going to take some Pilar Glacier here, and this is going to go all over the dry brushing of those two colors we just did. And the Pilar Gl Glacier is really, really thin. Like, I wouldn't even call it a contrast paint. It's more of like a contrast glaze, and uh, we're just going to unify all the colors together. So we're going to use the white primer here, and this is an airbrush paint, so it's nice and thin. And we're going to use this to highlight up all our white that we've left. So the one shoulder pad uh, for these characters tends to be white. So we're just going to leave our zenithal intact, but just brighten up the raised areas. 
Next, we're going to take some Moonlight Coral, and she's just going to go on the feathers on her arrows. Then we're going to use some Reichland Flesh Shade here, and we're going to use this to shade down all of the gold. So we're just going to put a thin layer of this, let it pool into the recesses. Don't let it pool on top, and just slather that on all the gold. Once that is finished, I'll do the bases, and these guys are done. And here they are all finished up, and they turned out uh, really well for such an easy paint job. I really like the skin on this big guy as well. Um, the Ranger is the one I like the least out of all of them, but eh, whatever. Uh, not Ian McKellen turned out really good here, and also the uh, leader, I don't know any of their names, uh, she turned out really good. Um, I'm really happy with this. It's an easy way to paint these. So I don't know what Celestial Vindicators are, but either way, this is an easy way to paint them. So hopefully if you want to do a Celestial Vindicator paint scheme, this can help you in some way. Probably not, but maybe. What do you guys think? Have you been interested in painting any storm casts? What color scheme would you use? Let me know in the comments below. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blaster Katie Painting. and Avi Painting. Painting. Blaster Katie Painting. Blaster Katie Painting. I don't I honestly what that what on earth is a celestial vindicator? I have no idea. I googled it forever and all I can see is like teal and gold. I I don't know. Next we're going to use some bony matter. What is bony matter? Pallid Bone, that makes sense. What's B Battleship Gray? That makes sense. What the heck is Bony Matter? Just a just a pile of bits? Just a pile of bony bits? <laughs>